Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to Mad Max. The game, not the film, of course. Um, if you have some reason haven't seen this game, oh, you did, because there's a sniper around here. First things first. Right, he's there. Come with me. Oh, shit. That was um, a bit of a stupid move. I didn't think they'd come that close. Never mind, we'll just hide out here. <laughs> uh, yes, so this game has nothing to do with the film, the new film, Fuhrer, as much as that it is still Mad Max and I'm assuming set in the same kind of weird universe or something or other. What I can tell you is that this game is very, very fun and involves lots of lovely death and explosions and driving fast cars and this car. Ah. Hello? Are you just... Yeah, you're not because that's a convoy road which I haven't done yet because... I spend most of my time in this game pissing about. <laughs> There's the tank there. Uh, yeah, literally, I've done so very little on this game because I tend to just mess around and do all the little miscellaneous bits and upgrade the strongholds you get and stuff like that. I believe this is a mission for... What's around here somewhere? It's for Jeet's territory. Actually, we'll check. Yes, she's already. Oh, by the way, um, so this is the camp I'm at now. This is kind of one, like, area. This is another area. And then and the big yellow boundary is the territory. Now, this is the first big territory you get. This is where you start off. Now, now this is where you start off. Um, over Peerish somewhere or something. But this is, like, the first bit. This is the world map. Um, <laughs> yeah, as you can tell, I haven't done that much. Um, but from what you can probably tell, is that this game is huge. It's absolutely ginormous. It's unbelievably huge. Which is some good fun. There it is. And we'll fire the harpoon, and then we can pull that. Yeah, the little guy who fixed up the cab before, he's Chum Bucket. He is weird and crazy. Um, but. Hey-ho, he has interesting dialogue, which is more than them can be said for Max, because, you know, he, he's dark and he's brooding and he does... Well, he doesn't really say very much, he just tends to look angrily at people before he punches the face in. Yes, well done. And now we get out of the car. and stuck in a... Okay, he's not actually going to let me get out. Now we get out of the car. You stay with the car, you fix it. There you go, see, he actually says some stuff. Hello? Hello. Jump. Whee! And this is time for the combat. It's it's that Arkham combat that all, so many games have... Yes! Ooh! I've tried to eliminate... Eliminate? Emulate, even, in recent years. And it's re... To be fair, this game does a pretty good job of it. It feels less refined, which is fine for the game. It feels brutal. It works... Actually works really quite well. That was weird. Switched over. Right. Yeah, now I'm going to take you out. And then you. And he's dead. Take the weapon. Let me take you. Oh, probably should say what we're doing. We are destroying this camp, which has oil pumps in it. We destroy the oil pumps. We um, then allies inhabit the camp, and we get more scrap per a certain amount of time. Scrap. Yeah. And it lowers the threat from Scabrous Scrotus, who is the lovely named bad guy. Oh no, we can see stuff like that whenever we feel like seeing it. I've gathered no intel. I'm assuming there is a way to gather some intel on this base. Um, ah, right, so this... Well, I'm guessing we're supposed to go through that door there, but we'll go up here. Everything marked in yellow is like climbable or damageable or stuff like that. What about up here? Ooh, ammo. Oh, I'm Bell Soul. And Scrotus Insignia. Is that... Just... Glasses. Oh, that's looped, that one. Sniper round. Okay, so... So I've seen armor from my shotgun. I can jump now without being hurt. Yeah. Oh, there's scrap in there. If I can figure out how to get in. There we go. And take this. We will take you. Is that the sneaker? See, yes. So, 
I shouldn't have gone through it, but never mind. See, this is like a way you can get in from the outside. So all of the camps tend to have a sne secret sneaky way you can get in by gathering intel about them from like an encounter situation in the outside world, but I haven't done that. Oh, an explosion's required for this one. That's always fun. Hello, explosive barrels. We'll come and get this. This. Uh, pick up fuel cans. Yeah. See, I love this about this game. They're running out of fuel, but all you have to do is pick them up from a spot, and then, then Max gets more. So, you know, he never actually quite runs out of fuel or not, which is always handy. Right. Ignite. Throw. Run away. And then run back through. Well, I'm assuming there'll be more lovely, lovely bad guys. Hello, bad guys. Hello. Oh, look at you, just sad there. How do you not know I'm here? Now you do, because you're dead. That is a war crier. Shit. Right. War criers basically take them out first, or the enemies get a buff and they do more damage. And not just a little, the damage they do is absolutely brutal. Ooh, historical relic as well. What's in this one then? Will, don't go inside. They killed Dad. They took all our supplies. Run, Sandra. Something tells me, Sandra, that if that was on the outside of your building, they probably saw it. Just, just go on that. Is this another explodey, explodey, explodey door? Probably. I'll tell you what. We'll pick up the fuel can and ignite it. Yeah, it is. We th I thought it would be. And uh, throw. Run away. Jesus Christ. That was loud. That was very loud, actually. Ooh, hello, food. Is it dog food? Oh, no, it's dog food. Movie reference. You can also eat maggots from the corpses of human bodies, which is obviously delicious. What? Are you running away because there is... I thought you did be loads of around that corner, but there's not. And why can I climb up here for no reason? To only roll down a hill. I mean, it was fun, but... Ah, so the oil pump is there. And I'm assuming... Where's the war crier? Where? Where is he? Where's the, where's the war crier? There he is. Right. Stop. Hold on, hold on. War crier's dead. Enemies won't get a buff. Right. Oh, oh shift punishers are amazing. Stab him in the face. Who is this guy? It's Max, and he's, he's very mad, which is kind of the whole plot of the game. You beat up people, drive a car fast, you know. You do things that angry people do. Come on, punch him, kill him. There you go. Oh, I should have blocked that, but for some reason I didn't. And he's dead. He'll dodge it. Yeah, but I'll take out him. And then get him, and then I can punch him. Oh, there's a speedier, dodgier, yellowy one. Ow! Oh, my God. There's actually quite a few people here. Oh, ah, this is what I want. This is Fury <laughs> mode, which leads to... Stuff like this. Stuff like that. Stuff like this. Just a really epic kind of... Death. Come on. Block it. Yes. Well, counter it. That's the thing. In this one, the, all the blocks are kind of counters, so it does rotate. It does have that very arc and feel to it. But, oh shit! But they are still very, very, very good games. Games, game. There is many Arkham games. There is one Mad Max game. Hey, I got a little bit of health back. Yeah, you drink water to get health back. I mean, seriously, if none of you played this game, you like kind of open world explorers and this type of stuff, <laughs> explosions and death and snapping people's necks then I highly recommend this game. It is an awful, awful lot of fun. I know we've missed lots of scrap, but the best thing is we can come back to this camp later when we're not being attacked. Right. Where are things... Ah, you are an open door, which means... Do you respawn, then? Yes, you do. Yes, you... Ooh, there's some more scrap there. And a scrotus insignia. We'll have to get that in a second. Ignite. Throw. Oh, I wish I was looking at that. I didn't realize it would take out both. Oh, well, that's a pretty epic shot anyway. 
Oil pump camp, the pipes. Destroy all oil pumps. Camp dismantled. Completion 46%. <laughs> ah, right, if that's the case then, we'll take you. And we'll take you, because you're here. And, oh god, didn't realize it was that time already. Time gets away from me when I do these sometimes. So, in the burning oil wreckage. Oh, isn't that a lovely shot? Isn't that a lovely shot? Well, guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Mad Max. Um, I might do a few more of these. I do like the game, and I'm playing anyway. That's why I recorded this, because I'm playing it anyway. So, thank you all very much for watching. Don't be afraid to give that like button a little tickle, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.